what's up team dms today's video is sponsored by tina she hair um they sent me a um couple of things inside of the box this is their little promotional card uh with their social media information uh things like that and then it came with a few gifts which i thought were pretty cool cool this one was just a hand mirror with their QR code and website information and everything on the back. And you just open it up and it's just two mirrors. They also gave me, now this was kind of weird because I never used this, but it's a wig cap. Mm. So this is, uh, I believe it's a deep wave wig. There's a 13 by or six sorry um, frontal 24 inch it's supposed to be 180 percent density mm, I don't know about that uh, as you can see the lace is not tinted or the bleach the um, knots are not bleached it was supposed to be pre-plucked so I'm going to pretty much um, see how it looks like that i don't really do frontals y'all so we kind of like <laughs> doing this together this is probably the first frontal um i'm sorry wig that i put on myself that hasn't been previously applied so this isn't something that i do so usually if i stick it back down the wig has already been applied and cut and customized and all of that so um <laughs> yeah this is like my little i don't know beginner tutorial but I'm actually te teaching myself at the same time but if you can see um, how the on the ear part it doesn't go all the way back um, and majority of the hair is like in the center of the frontal part of the wig I guess that's what you want to call it so I am using a little bit of Schwarzkopf um, lightener and I'm making it very thick like a paste and then I'm going to go ahead and apply that to the wig as I said before this is not a service that I provide and I'm actually learning myself and normally I go for these reviews if it's not a handmade wig a closure wig then usually I go and have them done but I decided to play around today so I don't need y'all in the comments <laughs> giving me um you know how y'all do sometimes so um yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and keep watching Okay, so I've already applied my cap, uh, as you can see. So I'm just going to take a little bit of makeup to kind of get that cap blended a little bit. As I said before, this is my first time actually like doing this from scratch. So please bear with me. But this ain't about me. This is just a hair review and I'm applying my wig, okay? This is, <laughs> we going to call it a tutorial. So now I'm going to place the wig on now. I thought about this after the fact. I'm like, I should have had to had it like halfway on and then just kind of slid it forward. But yeah, you live and you learn. I guess next time I do this, I'll try a different technique. Right now I'm just trying out different things that works for me. Um, the glue that I use was by um, Ghost Bond. I did have someone use walker tape on me, but I noticed that it was very hard to clean off the lace. So I would like something that's easier to take off and um, the lace as well as my um, edges.
Y'all don't talk about my little beady bees in the back. I know they <laughs> they trying to come out and play, but don't talk about me. Don't beat me up too bad. So now I'm just gonna take um, some wrap strips and lay my lay. Oh, I'm messing up today. Lay my little hair down and um, yeah, go under the dryer for a little bit. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and take the wrap strips off. Now the hairline did not look that bad. Uh, I think it could have, well I know it could have been plugged a little bit more, but um, I'm actually just seeing how this is gonna work as is. Now this is the like my least favorite part and that's doing these little baby hairs or whatever you wanna call them. I actually hate that, like I'm not good at it. Um, some people just can really have their baby hairs uh, late, but uh -uh. it ain't me. This was a foam that was sent to me uh, to test out and I absolutely hate it. Uh, it made the hair rock hard and as you can see, it was like running down my face. So May Mint Foam for the win, cause this stuff is trash. As y'all can see, I'm trying to lay this down with the straightening comb, but I couldn't even hardly get it in between because the foam was just like so hard. Uh, and I cut my sideburn too short. But anyway, 
this is about the hair. Now the hair was kind of uh, tangly a little bit. Um, it's definitely not beginner friendly. Uh, it needed quite a bit more customizing, especially um, I only bleached like the perimeter when I probably should have went up in the middle a little bit. And um, the fact that it, the, I had to pluck the part to make that more defined because it was just um, so thick. So it's definitely not beginner friendly and I am a beginner. So um, yeah, I wasn't really trying to do all that work like that right there. But I will le link the company to this hair in the description box below. Um, it is Tina Sheen hair. I guess that's how they pronounce it. Um, yeah, about the hair. Mm, girl. Yeah. <laughs> if you feel me, you feel me. <laughs> So this is the hair, it has a nice curl pattern though, it does shed just slightly, um, but I mean, all of the hair really do anyway. So this is it, if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell to get future notifications. I love you guys so, so, so very much. Now I'll see you again for the next video.